Well, 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 look who's back, sitting on the floor of their beauty room about to talk about so many lip products. It's me. Today is hopefully going to be the very last video on the lip product clutter to finish off this series. I hope you guys are excited. And then once I'm done finally decluttering, I'm going to finally like reorganize the lip product drawer and show you the final results right at the end. And it's gonna be oh so satisfying to see the before and the after. I hope you guys are excited for that because if that's not organization porn, then I really don't know what is. There's really not much more to say. Uh, this video is gonna be long enough as is. I hope you're going to enjoy it. Don't forget to let me know all of your thoughts down below. Also let me know what you'd like to see me declutter next. I can do really any category at this point. Okay, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. So just to sort of recap a little bit, when I do my declutters, I like to separate my products in four different categories. So we have the products that I'm going to keep, the products that I'm giving away to friends and family, products that I'm throwing out because they're old and nobody's gonna want them, and then the products that I'm gonna be donating. Actually, the throw-out pile is gonna be here, donation pile is gonna be here. So this box over here contains the Fenty lipsticks as well as the Too Faced lip glosses and lipsticks from a recent collection. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of all of these Too Faced lip glosses. They're really pretty. They're all very like multi-dimensional. They have a lot of sparkle to them. They're, they're gorgeous, honestly, but I haven't used any of them. I haven't reached for them. I'm gonna be giving these away to friends and family. I'm also going to get rid of these Too Faced lipsticks. These are from the Sweet Peach collection. The reason why I wanna get rid of these is because I cannot stand the smell of these lip products. I've tried to wear them a few times and every time I do, I just can't get over the way my lips smell. They sort of just smell like chemical fuzzy peaches, which is really not my favorite. So I'm going to also donate all of these. My Fenty lip products, they are so beautiful, but I know that I have a, quite a few doubles in here just because I bought a lot and then I got some in PR, so there's just no need for me to have both. First, let's talk about the Fenty liquid lipstick. So this is the Stunna lip paint in the shade Uncensored. I believe this was the original shade that they came out with and this is, the most beautiful and the most perfect red shade. If you like a liquid lipstick that is comfortable, that doesn't dry out your lips, and that is just full of pigment, this is going to be a lipstick that I highly recommend you try. It is such an amazing, rich red color. The Fenty lipsticks are also beautiful. Again, if you like more matte lip products, but you don't like drying, uncomfortable matte lip products, these are such an awesome formula. This one in the shade One of the Boys is just not really a shade that I'm ever gonna wear. It's like a really, really bright lilac purple. These shades look terrible on me, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Then we have an emerald green here. This one is in the shade Midnight Wasabi. <laughs> That's such a funny name. It's a really cool color. It's just not really a color that I would ever wear. Like on what occasion would I wear a green lip product? Candy Venom is such a beautiful color. I normally do not like fuchsia shades like this, but this is just such an intense like raspberry pink and on the lips It is so vibrant and beautiful. I'm gonna be keeping this one Then we have saucy which is this pure like bright orange shade such a cool color I'm totally keeping this one banked is a pretty like deep rosy nude It's a pretty color, but it's really just nothing too crazy special in my eyes So I'm gonna give that one away. I actually feel like my mom would really like that shade Then we have PMS which is like a deep 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 dark brown um, I know I said that I don't really love these types of colors, but again, there's something about this color that is so interesting and cool on the lips. I definitely want to keep some lip products in my collection that do have that cool, interesting factor to them because otherwise I'm just going to have a collection full of nudes and orangey reds, so I'm totally going to be keeping this one. Freckle Fiesta is such an amazing color. Look at that. It's like the most amazing brick orangey red. I love it and I'm keeping it. And then we have Single, which is another nude. I'm actually going to keep this one. I think it's a really pretty undertone. Griselda, this is a deep like purpley plum. This is such a cool color. I feel like I got rid of so many shades like this and because I love this formula so much I'm gonna keep this one. I think it's really really pretty. I'm actually gonna get rid of this glass over here This is one from the galaxy collection. I just really never reach for it. Next up we have madame, which is an amazing amazing Bright red shade. This is such a pretty red. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one up to no good is another nude. It's a little bit lighter than the nude that I'm keeping. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is actually not super flattering on me. It's sort of more of like a yellow base nude, just doesn't really work with my skin tones. All right, so all of these are going away. And then these are the ones that I'm keeping. 
Okay, I'm sorry, but that is so impressive. I'm very pleased with that. First things first, we've got the Anastasia Lip Palette. I'm going to pass this one along. I'm going to try and find a makeup artist friend that I can give this to. This is such a great palette if you are a makeup artist. So many options for lip colors. You have some great primary colors in here as well, so you can basically custom make like any color of your choice. Looks like I've got some of my Fenty products here. I'm obviously going to be keeping this Stena Lip Paint on Button. It is a beautiful, beautiful nude. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. I'm just going to throw it in my Fenty box then we have a gloss bomb here in the shade diamond milk believe it or not this is actually my least favorite gloss bomb in the collection i so much more prefer fussy and uh the original one this one i feel like sort of makes my lips look a little bit whitish like it just washes them out I am going to give this one away. Then we have some Makeup Forever liquid lipsticks here. I don't love the formula of these. They're pretty drying and really, really matte, obviously, so I'm going to get rid of them. Then we have some of the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipsticks. I do really like these formula. These are not liquefied lipsticks in the sense that they're liquid lips. They're not really matte. They have a nice, pretty comfortable, like, satin-ish finish to them. I'm just going to get rid of all of them. I never reach for these. It's, I'm trying to declutter, I'm trying to be like smart here, and I'm just gonna pass them along to the trash, unfortunately, because like I said, they're a few years old, and there's no way they are still good anymore. This is the Anastasia Lip Gloss in the shade Undress. I completely forgot about this, to be totally honest with you, but this is just such a beautiful nude gloss. They're super opaque. I'm gonna keep that one. This guy over here is my Becca Glow Gloss in the shade Rose Gold. I love the formula of the Becca Glow Glosses. I just don't really like this color. It's sort of like a brownish nude, a little bit too brown for my liking for a gloss formula. Unfortunately, this makes me sad, but I'm gonna be giving that one away. Okay, this gloss is disgusting. It's completely separated. There's no way this is good anymore. This is another Anastasia gloss. Bye-bye. Got some Nabla liquid lipsticks here. I'm just gonna get rid of these. I'm trying to get rid of most of my liquid lipsticks because I just never really wear them. These, however, I'm gonna donate because I don't think I've actually worn these. This is the Melt Lipstick in the shade Nude. I've kept this for a really, really long time. It's a very, very, very light nude color. It's extremely matte. These types of super light nude colors in a matte formula that's as matte as this just really are not that flattering. I did get really good use out of this back in the day though, but I think I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna throw it out because it's pretty old. This is the shade Mom from Melt. Um, it's a really beautiful color. Unfortunately, I just don't really like the formula of the Melt lipsticks. They're just far too drying, far too matte for my liking, so this one's gonna be going away. This is a Kavon D lipstick in the shade Chula. It's a brick red with like a very warm orangey undertone. I mean, I have a thousand that look exactly like this. I'm just not gonna use this. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Holy crap, the only thing that I'm keeping in this whole box is this one lip gloss from Anastasia. I feel like at this point, it's actually not even worth me keeping this. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this one too. Okay, well, that's that. That was pretty, pretty uh, intense if I said so myself. Alrighty, next up we've got some, I don't even know what's in here. First up, we have these Burberry lipsticks. I actually love this lipstick formula from Burberry. I think used one of the shades in one of my recent videos and I just really like the way that they feel on the lips. They're super lightweight. They feel like a stain. I'm going to keep, I think all of these honestly because they're just so nice. Pretty much just have this like sponge applicator. You twist it up. This one is fresh. I haven't used this color yet. It's in the shade number 70 and then it applies like that and it's sort of just like a wash of color type of lip product which you guys know is really just everything that I love. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be keeping all of my sugar lip balms. These are some of my favorite, more everyday type of lip product. They're pretty much just tinted lip balms. It's, it's as simple as that. This one is in the shade Tulip, this one is Punch. These are super random liquid lipsticks from Pure. I'm gonna donate these because I haven't used them yet. Okay, these lipsticks from Laura Mercier are outstanding. I think I had one of these in my last lip product declutter, but I love the formula of these. Again, if you want a matte lip that is just comfortable, that is long wearing, these are beautiful. Plot twist, I actually don't like this color. I don't know what drove me to buy this color in particular. It's in the shade uh, Ruthless. It's just like a cool tone pink, and cool tone pinks just 
don't really work for me. So unfortunately, I'm gonna get rid of this shade. These guys from Clarins are really, really cool. They're called the Water Lip Stains, and they're pretty much just that. They're very, very liquidy type of lip stains, which is really just what I've been loving right now. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping these. They have just like such interesting colors them as well. They almost make your lips look like you have like a popsicle stain. It's a really flattering type of lip color. I really like them a lot. So I have three of them here and I'm gonna be keeping them. Another little lone wolf lip color. This is the Elia lip color in the shade Woohoo. <laughs> what a funny lip color name. I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty sheer. And it is. Oh, and it completely just broke. Mmm, that's too bad. Okay. <laughs> well, that was really unfortunate. I'm just gonna put that over there. Let's pretend that never happened. Okay, this Clinique gloss in the shade Nude Pop is beautiful. I love, love, love this color so much. Oh my God, it's not swatching on my hand because I have so much makeup remover on it, but it's like a perfect, mid-tone pinky nude gloss. I love this a lot. There was a point where like this was my go-to gloss, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. I have these Burberry like lipsticks here. I know this is probably killing so many of you guys that I'm getting rid of these super like high-end lip products, but I feel like they definitely deserve just a better home where, where they will actually be used. These are unfortunately liquid lipsticks and you guys know my feelings about liquid lipsticks, so I'm gonna be giving those ones away. Okay, these liquid lipsticks, however, from Estee Lauder are beautiful. The type of liquid lipstick that is not like overly drying and that actually feels very comfortable on the lips. So I am gonna be keeping not all of them, not all the colors, but some of them. This is Lava Flow. Oh my God, that color though. <sighs> yep. I'm gonna get rid of the nude. I just don't really need more nudes in my life. <laughs> this color is really pretty. It's in the shade uh, Heart Crush. Sort of like a warm reddish nude color. So I'm gonna keep that guy. This is a super dark red, Quiet Riot. It's pretty, but I'm not gonna keep this one. This is a lip product from Beauty Counter in the shade Petal. This is another very like sheer, great everyday lip color. I totally forgot about this guy. I used to wear it all the time. It's such a perfect everyday shade. It's one of those like sheer lip colors that just adds a little bit of like color, a lot of shine. I do actually like the Smashbox liquid lipsticks. I'm not going to be keeping all of them though. I think I'm only gonna keep a select few that I feel like are a little bit more unique. I'm gonna keep this guy, which is Chill Zone. This is a really cool sort of gray shade. I don't really have a lot of colors that are like this, so I feel like it's totally worth keeping. All right, so let us reorganize. We are actually getting somewhere, believe it or not. Next up, we have a bin full of Buxom lip colors. I know already I'm gonna be keeping all of my Buxom glosses. Buxom glosses are probably some of my top like five favorite gloss formulas. I love them so much. This one is in the shade Pink Champagne. It's a pretty like light pink, keeping it. We got the classic guy, White Russian. This is probably their most like famous lip gloss. It's just a really nice, simple nude lip gloss. I love this. They're so minty and they smell so good too, which is such a plus. I am, however, gonna get rid of all of these Buxom liquid lipsticks. I don't really need to explain why. You guys already know why. These Buxom lip plumpers, I never really got into. I just feel like they're sort of meh. They're just nothing too special, so I'm gonna get rid of these. This is a lip gloss from Clinique. I actually really enjoy these Clinique lip glosses. This color is so pretty too. It's really great for like when you wanna just brighten up your face for an like everyday look. It's in the shade uh, Watermelon Pop, so I'm gonna be keeping that guy. This is a super random lipstick from the brand called Happy Happiness? Happy, Happy Mess, sorry. Ooh. Nice little coral shade. I'm gonna keep this. I really like the finish of this too. Interesting. I gotta like put this somewhere not in here. <laughs> Lastly, we've got these Buxom lip pencils. I actually really enjoy this lip formula. Um, my first reaction is to wanna keep all of them, but I think that's probably unnecessary. For example, these four shades, they are so similar. I definitely don't need all four. I don't, I'm not gonna wear that one. I'm not gonna wear those. I'm just not gonna wear all, any of those. Oh, that's a great nude. Oh boy, I don't need it though. I'm gonna get rid of it. Ooh, a little pinky nude. Mm, I don't love that in that formula. I'm gonna get rid of it. Cloak and Dagger. Ooh, I love those types of colors. I'm gonna keep that one. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I ended up only keeping three, so yay me. Let's put that back. 
Oh my god. Yay! This box looks like a mix of drugstore and Sephora brand and a little bit of Ofra. These are Flower Beauty lipsticks. I'm actually gonna keep these because I really, really like the formula of them. 100, which is a really pretty orange red. This is a great nude. This is 15 peachy nude. Such a good color. These guys from L'Oreal are probably one of my favorite drugstore lip products, even just favorite lip products in general. They're called the Color Reese Shines and they are pretty much exactly that. They're really nice and sheer, buildable, and super, super shiny and just so comfortable to wear. I mean, look at that. This one is in the shade number 920. If you think I'm keeping all of them, you would be Absolutely 100% correct. These are the flower beauty liquid lipsticks. I really just did not love these when I tried them So I'm going to get rid of them. Oh my god. This Sephora lip gloss is so old That's going in the garbage <laughs> got these Mac lipsticks here. They're called the plenty of pout Plumping lipsticks really nothing wrong with this formula. I just really never reach for them I feel like I want to give them a better home So I'm gonna get rid of them now the Sephora brand liquid lipsticks I have said quite a bit even the Ofra ones are my favorite liquid lipsticks for a liquid lipstick formula I just find them to be not overly drying and pretty comfortable I feel like I want to keep a few of the Sephora brand liquid lipsticks just because I do really enjoy them, but I'm going to get rid of probably like 90% of them. So I'm just going to go through it really quickly and I'll show you guys the ones that I'm keeping. I'm going to keep this guy. This is such a pretty red in number 18. It's like a, just a nice bright red shade. I know I'm keeping so many of them, but I, I love it. <laughs> I, I have no excuse. This is another really pretty shade number 24. It's like a really great, almost like grayish, purpley shade. This is another really great shade. It's called number 03. It's just like a dark reddish coral. I love that for like the spring, it's so nice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this guy. It's a great brick red in the shade number 42. But the rest of them I am going to get rid of. So that's it, all right. All right, pretty good. Let's keep it moving. So let's start off with these Buxom guys. So these are the Pillow Pout Creamy Plumping Lip Powders. It's like one of those like smudgy type of lip colors, you know, like they're matte, but they're not liquidy. That like smudged lip look, it's really pretty. These types of colors are also really trendy right now. I actually think I'm going to keep all of these in this formula just because I don't really have anything else quite like this in this like powdery type of formula. This is a ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Mucho. I'm gonna get rid of this one, just not really a color that I'm gonna wear, but I do really like the Ultra Satin Lip formula. They're very comfortable and it's a great alternative to like a typical liquid lipstick. Okay, I very much dislike like quite a bit the MAC liquid lipsticks. I just find them to be so cracky and terrible looking on the lips. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these. have some MAC lip glasses here. I'm gonna get rid of the brighter shades and the darker shades. This is heroin and then the dark one is mocha. They're pretty, but I mean, I just never really wear these types of glosses in these shades. I am, however, going to be keeping a lot of the nude shades in the, in the lip gloss formula because I do really like the lip gloss formula. Even though they're really sticky, they do give like quite, quite the amount of shine on the lips. This one over here is in the shade N-U-D-E. If you couldn't tell, that spells nude. Beautiful nude gloss. Ooh, it has a little bit of shimmer to it as well. This is a pink one in Candy Box. Oh yeah, baby. Keeping that too. <laughs> gonna get rid of this purple one and this bright pink one. Mm, this one too I'm gonna get rid of. This is another nude gloss in the shade Myth. This is a great nude gloss to have. It's super, super light and sort of like yellow tone. This is a great gloss um, on top of more neutral lipsticks that you don't want to like shift the color too much. So I'm gonna keep this one. I don't really have any glosses like this. A nice coral gloss is never a bad idea. This is in the shade Pink Lemonade. Ooh, it's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that. I don't really have a gloss like that. These guys are Dior lipsticks from a recent collection. Rouge Dior Ultra Rouge. This one is in shade 841 Ultra Shock. It's another like sheer-ish type of lip formula. I'm gonna see what colors are here, but I'm definitely not gonna be keeping all of them. Give that away. This is just like a white shade, but give that one away. This 777, it's a bit of like a brighter shade. This one's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm gonna get rid of all of them, but that one. All right, all done, woohoo. 
A++. Guys, we are like nearing the end. I'm powering through this. We are not stopping. First things first, I'm 100% keeping these NYX Butter Glosses. Probably, again, one of my favorite gloss formulas. They are so buttery and soft and easy to wear. They're not sticky at all and they smell amazing. So this is the shade Peach Crisp and then the pink one is called Sunday Mimosa. I'll swatch one of them so you guys could just get an idea of what they look like. They're great glosses. Mm, they smell so good. Because we're sort of nearing the end here, I'm just going to sort of sort through things. And if there's anything like that I really want to talk to you guys about, I'll mention it. But uh, I think for right now, you guys have a really good idea of what I like and what I don't like. So I'm just going to sort do a little speed up thing right here. And I'll show you guys if anything notable comes up. Oh yes, okay, notable right here. The Essence Matte 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 uh, Long Lasting Lip Glosses are so great. This is another really great, more matte lip color that is not drying at all. It's a very moussey formula. This color is beautiful. It's in the shade called number 02. They also smell like cake, which is, I mean, <laughs> there's one reason to buy a lip product is because it smells like cake. I got some more ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips here. I'm sort of unsure about whether or not I want to keep them. Like I said, I do like the formula, but I don't know. These are not really like shades that I would go to in this formula, except for this bright orange red. But I mean, we all know how many of these I have already. I know what you're all thinking, so I'm just going to get rid of it. <laughs> oh, this gloss though from ColourPop is so pretty. It's an ultra glossy lip in the shade Curvy. It's Look at that gloss. It is such a nice color. Keeping this guy. I am, however, going to be keeping all of my Wet n Wild lipsticks. I love these. They're so great and so affordable. I have a few of them here, um, and they're all wonderful. Here's an ultra satin lip, though, that I will definitely be keeping. This is in the shade Fortune Favors, and it is a bright coral shade. Really, really pretty color. Keeping that guy. Another ultra satin lip that I'm going to be keeping. This is Be OK, and it's a bright pink color. I just, I'm looking to keep colors that, you know, I don't have a thousand, thousands of. All right, that one was quick and easy. Perfect. All right, got some more random shit here. <laughs> Let's go through it. So these are actually the new Natasha Denona liquid lipsticks. I'm gonna get rid of all of them. I have tried them. I just don't like the formula. They're just really dry and the colors are so beautiful though. It really kills me. I wish that the formula was a little bit less drying and not quite as matte. I just wish these were like sheer and glossy, <laughs> but unfortunately I am gonna get rid of them. This literally pains my soul though. So much. These Pat McGrath lipsticks are beautiful. Like the packaging is gorgeous, but the actual lipsticks, not really my thing. They're super, super, super sparkly. Got another Fenty guy in here. This is in this shade Uncuffed. It's a really pretty like mauvey pink. I am gonna keep this one. I don't know why it's in there. Okay. Hello. These are the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks. These are probably the most unique matte lipsticks ever. The texture of these lipsticks literally look like velvet. It's so insane and the just the finish, the way that they look. Everything about these lipsticks is are pretty outstanding, so I would be insane to not keep them. That one, by the way, is in the shade Velvet Ribbon. Zoeva liquid lipsticks. I mean, again, liquid lipstick formula. I just don't need it. Gotta get rid of it. Oh my goodness, these Tartist uh, glossy lip paints, I loved these. There was a point I was obsessed with them, but they are so old, completely separated. The color has changed. I'm gonna get rid of them, like throw them out because there's no way they're so good. These are the old Glossier Generation G lipsticks. I'm gonna get rid of these because I actually have the new updated formula now, which are you know better in packaging. The formula is pretty much like the same-ish. These right here are the M Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. These are the types of liquid lipsticks though that don't fully dry down. I actually really love the formula of these. I am gonna keep all of them. Clear lip glosses are underrated and this Pat McGrath clear lip gloss is probably one of my favorites. It's the clear vinyl lip gloss. It's not sticky, it's glossy as, as can be and it's beautiful. Uh, same thing goes actually with the Glossier. Clear lip gloss, also an amazing, amazing, non-sticky, glossy, beautiful formula, so I'm keeping them both. More glossy lip paints that have definitely gone bad. The last Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick that I own. 
Getting rid of this guy. Got some Dose of Colors lip products here. This is from the Desney and Katie collection. This is called Over the Top Gold Sparkly Lip Gloss. It's really, really pretty on top of a nude lip. This is beautiful, so I'm definitely gonna be keeping it. And then we have the lipstick in the shade No Shade, which is in nude. This I'm gonna get rid of. This lip color is so unflattering on me. It's very yellow based and it just does not work with my skin tone. I feel like it works better for like more tan skin tone. So I'm gonna give that one away. And that's that for this box. Yay. Oh, oh here are my Lisa Eldridge other lipsticks here. We have um, Velvet Morning, which is the most amazing reddish Orange, I don't care what anybody says, I'm keeping it. And then we have Velvet Jazz, which is a beautiful deep red. Oh my God, yeah, obviously keeping that. I mean, I would like encourage you guys to unsubscribe if I got rid of those, honestly. <laughs> obviously keeping this NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. This is probably my favorite shade. It's like the most perfect pinky nude. Ooh, it's so nice. I mean, it's just a pinky nude, but I love the formula. I actually love the Jouer High Pigment Lip Glosses. They are like A++++. The Liquid Lipsticks are also pretty, but ooh, I'm only gonna keep a few of them because I do actually like the formula. I mean, first things first, metallic ones are going bye-bye. This is probably my favorite, favorite, favorite gloss in this formula. It's PCH, the High Pigment Lip Gloss. It is incredible. I love this one so much, keeping it, obviously. This is such a pretty color. This is a gloss in stiletto. It's such a bright shade. Oh yeah. Okay, lip cream in watermelon. This is another one of my favorites that I used to wear all the time, especially in the spring and summer. It's sort of like a exact, I mean, it's a watermelon shade. It's perfect description. Oh my God, this color is so pretty. This is called Sloan and it's one of their glosses. Look at that. <gasps> yes. Oh, brick liquid lip. This is actually so pretty. I used to wear this one also all the time. It's just a great color, keeping it. Sunset High Pigment Gloss, yes please. Look at that color, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I actually kept quite a few of these, but I mean, I, I totally forgot about how much I love this formula. I put the other Lisa Eldridge lipsticks with the other ones so that they all can live together. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother going through these because these are all lip products that I actually use quite a bit. You've heard me talk about them so much. I actually keep this little guy on my vanity and I mean, this video is long enough. So you have heard about these at one point or another. We don't need to go through them, but I'm keeping all of them. You know what, guys? I'm not even gonna go through these. I'm just gonna keep all of these. And I know you're like, Jamie, come on. It's the last two bins. But these are actually really sentimental to me. Um, these represent the first brand trip I actually ever went on was with Urban Decay for this like lipstick launch. And it, it really was like a huge, almost feels like a turning point in my career. So I just can't get rid of them. And I know you are all probably rolling your eyes, but I just really, can't and I don't want to. So I'm gonna keep these. Just just give that to me, okay? <laughs> but that finishes all off. We're done. Hi again, I'm back. And now it's time for the moment that I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for. And that is when I completely reorganize the lip products that I am keeping because these bins are not the best. They're really deep. And because I don't have as many lip products now, they're not piling on top of each other. I don't really need like deeper bins. So I am going to transfer them to these guys, which is actually what I store all my other makeup in. They're just these like shallow drawer organizers from Canadian Tire, they're really great. So I'm gonna do a little speed up of me organizing this and uh, feast your eyes on this organization porn. Enjoy.
All right, listen, Linda, I consider myself to be a pretty self-aware individual. And I know that this lipstick collection is still excessive. So aware of that, but I feel like it is worlds better than what it looked like uh, before. Because before it was just completely unmanageable, it was ridiculous, and now I feel like I could actually see every single lip product in my collection with no problem, which was my goal. Um, did I get rid of 70 to 80% of my collection? I mean, did I? I don't really know. Here's a little clip of all of the products that I ended up decluttering. There's so much that I'm gonna be donating. There's so much that I'm gonna be giving away to friends and family. And I'm happy that these lip products get a second chance at life because they deserve it, they really do. Now there is no doubt that I could most likely declutter what I have kept even more just based on colors that I have duplicates and triples and quadruples of but that's for another video because right now I'm done. <laughs> we did it guys, we got through this together. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I hope that you guys found this lip product declutter video and series entertaining and I hope that it you know, really fulfilled your organization fantasies. And I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.